The Creative Tech Lab at Trinidad and Tobago, or CTLTT, is an initiative that's organized by Cabriri and powered by Baj in partnership with IDB Lab and Facebook to connect to creatives and developers and stimulate innovation and creativity. Hi, hello. Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Good morning. We are very honored to be able to power the Creative Tech Lab Trinidad and Tobago with this amazing group of people who are going to be taking the challenge to create what online carnival can mean. Once again, let me welcome you on behalf of Kariri, and we hope that you have a very um, a, a, a thoughtful and, and impressive day of networking. We hope, hope that you get to know each other well so that it would, um, it would feed into the coming days and, 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 and weeks of working together to produce something fruitful for Trinidad and Tobago Carnival. For Trinidad and Tobago, we are very focused on being able to open up spaces to showcase and leverage the creative talents of both our, of all our people. The creative talents of our technologists to take us into the digital future. The creative talents of our performing arts sector. The creative talents of our business people. In our project, we realized, you know, we thought as well, what else can we do? How else can we help persons who might have been affected uh, by this COVID pandemic situation? And when the whole idea, or when we, we, we were made aware of actually your company badge and the whole CTL Haiti initiative, we thought that this would be an excellent opportunity for us to partner not only with yourself um, from a point of the experience you've had and what you've done, but the fact that we are part of the innovative life landscape. We are also at the forefront with regards to our technology contributions in the country. We help developers, we help persons with developing of mobile apps, etc., data analytics, etc. We thought this was an excellent opportunity. The idea of this program is for all of these people that you can see in front of you today to come together. And we're doing it virtually because of COVID. And so this initiative comes in really, really good time because this is where they need to put more thinking into what does that mean to enter Carnival Online? And also what does that mean for the world, right? Looking at Trinidad and Tobago, the minute you come online, you are exposed to the world. So once we connected all these people all together, we wanted to create opportunity for networking. And we did a lot of networking online. Being in the room with other people who are similarly passionate about the work that they are doing, um, you know, it sort of consolidated the fact that all of us are in this process together. Carnival is um, so crucial to who we are as a people that it is really important for us at some point to put aside the things that we feel make us different and look at the things that make us um, together and stronger. This program has been over a hundred hours whether online, whether offline, through different platforms, we've been at it, we've been busy. And networking was at the center of all this. And the idea of this lab is to connect creatives and developers and put a challenge. What can you guys create for the future of content? I think that entering that realm of technology also gives some sort of enticement to persons outside wanting to actually come here. So it should, the, the, the technology could be um, also used as the first taste to lure you into coming to Trinidad to experience what we have physical when we can right. come back. So we had discussions about what's the Trinidad and Tobago narrative about. We have a couple of other conversations. We thought about the future of business, um, of the carnival business in Trinidad and Tobago. We had tech influencers talking about what the business of um, Trinidad and Tobago carnival can be online. We brought in more conversation, bringing Dre Shu Juan from Trini Jungle Juice, Ciola from um, from Loop TT, Derek, and Carla, who's also here, Kayla, who's also here with us today. The reason why Trinidad and Tobago's carnival is as magical as it, as it is, is because all the festival tribes of the races of the world came to Trinidad. That is a divine accident of Trinidad. So 
It is the tribes of the west coast of Africa, Yoruba, Igbo, Congo, Ashanti. What about a global um, opportunity for Carnival to spread best practices, to discuss Carnival in a way that opens the narrative to the world? This opportunity that this creative tech lab that has been designed to inspire collaboration between creatives and tech tech developers goes beyond carnival and after all our panels and discussions we also thought about bringing knowledge so we bring Carla paris who's also a creative who talked about the legal framework for creatives and developers um, in trinidad and tobago so we would find ourselves or we may find ourselves in a situation where we don't actually even understand whether we have the right to license this content that we want to put online. We brought in Genevieve from AgriLedger and Anu from Shikonomi to talk about blockchain and how they can leverage that power so they can create the future of Quantum How do you create a digital representation of your art so that when somebody buys it, either you get it where it's sold to them straight out or imagine Every time it's sold and it gets a higher price, you get a percentage of that. So this is the beauty of NFT. Through our partnership with Facebook, we were also able to bring some senior staff from Facebook to have, you know, full training about how to create an AR effects and talk about design thinking. So the world is going to completely transform and everything, and I mean everything, will be an augmented reality experience because that's how we will communicate. So to have this knowledge and to capitalize on it, to become good at it, to be known for it, to be paid for it, well, that's not bad. Storyboarding is how we put together what we learn from our users of how do we imagine they would experience our product. Um, also talked about data science and also how do you price correctly in a digital world. As you think about the future of whatever your initiative is, you want to better understand the population that you're serving. And we'll talk about how you can use open data to do just that. But if you are not willing to risk the unusual, you will have to settle for the ordinary. We so say welcome to all creatives, right? All of our creative tech lab. Hey, Ruben can you hear me? What, what me? What... Ah, hey guys, what's going on? I'm Morgan. <laughs> I'm one of the co-founders of IT Analytics. So when you guys invited me for the Creative Tech Lab, um, I went out and I actually picked up a headset. And now I'm playing around. I've got sparklers. I'm playing fireworks. After we did all of that, conversations, trainings, and it was then time to build. So. We had the build days, two full days, no sleep, hackathon style, where all the creatives and developers were coming together so they can build. This hackathon was really exciting and really challenging and full with skilled people. That's my first time participating to an hackathon. And for my first experience, the Creative Tech Lab really gave me the opportunity to challenge myself and learn a lot from others. For them to build, they had to bring an idea. So that idea was approved by our team, and then they could just move forward and continue working on it. Welcome to my team um, um, at Artist ID. This idea um, was formed in the lab with a little bit of inspiration outside. When we came to the lab now, I remember that experience when everyone was, was when everyone in the lab was basically trying to identify what sort of opportunities we could actually find to. Um, to bring to the table to help the artists and create immersive experiences that not only affect their business but what um, what can help them, you know. So that was one of the inspirations around artist ID. We, we put it forward and, and everyone was was excited about it. You know, add some e-commerce, add add different opportunities for for them to generate revenue. And actually, the, the book inside when you travel was a, a major um, a, ma a major a major part of what we were looking at. Hi everyone, my name is Danny McCutchey and welcome to Capture Carnival, your one-stop shop to capturing all carnival experiences, rewards, and user insights. So the end user goes onto our app, 
finds and purchases an event, and then money and data is collected and then given to the event organizer. The event organizer gives us some money per sale, and that's captured as commission um, for Capture Carnival. And then we're able to take a percentage of that sale and give it back to the end user as reward points. So end users are able to purchase in the carnival economy as well as get rewarded for that. It's a win-win situation. My team and I developed City Phoenix Carnival, which is an application using technologies of virtual reality. It will allow people to interact with each other while being at home, experiment the carnival. More importantly, we will provide rooms for artists to show and sell their works. Carnival, um, it's an augmented reality AR experience uh, for carnival. We're allowing people anywhere in the world who have a smartphone to experience carnival culture in a way that's never been done before. And that is in like the augmented reality and virtual realms. This is what, we're, what we've built. Uh, it's an augmented reality app that incentivizes participation in Caribbean culture and history. I loved your co incorporation of all the various digital aspects, which was the cryptocurrency, the blockchain, the NFTs, the AR, the VR. Um, that was really, really, really fantastic. Fantastic job. I love your Peregrinade. I remember where it started, that little, that little red <laughs> character you had on, your, on the edge of your laptop. The rendering has definitely improved. Congratulations to your team and also all the teams here for, for the work that has been done in very short time. Um, and we look forward to it. I, I also love the fact that starting with your presentation, you looked at the problems, developed the solutions, and also the metaverse. Uh, this is a, a very interesting uh, psychological, uh, uh, philosophical discussion, I should say, that I've had with quite a few friends. I love the fact that, you know, this is being brought in and that we're thinking about this because it is a future and this is where we're going. So I, I love this. Uh, congrats to the team once again. Very, very exciting. All these solutions that were created today are um, available online um, at this website that we created for the projects called tntcarnivalonline.com and that we used to be the website of this program, the Creative Tech Lab. This is where you're gonna go and meet all these creatives who contributed to this, meet all the developers who were the first pioneers who came up and make this happen. Woo! Wow! Just wow! This experience with Kariri's Creative Tech Lab was amazing! Like nothing short of amazing, epic, epic. The Creative Tech Lab of Trinidad and Tobago. The most exciting thing I've done for this pandemic thus far. But now people see the value of you being a creative and the opportunities and the benefits because we see so many people build huge brands and huge products um, and legacy through being creatives. And I like to say that evolution is always scary, but you got to embrace technology, right? It's through technology that we are all across Trinidad and across the Caribbean is connected today as a family unit. I am confident that our future is bright. Our traditions will not be lost and the world will be a better place because of it. I wish to thank all who participated in the venture. The course has just begun, but the race is not for the swiftest, but for who can endure to the end. I think you guys have done fantastic work. All of you may have been so tired from build days, all these live conversation. I think doing this online was such a challenge but I think we did it all together. We realized this was crunch. You did a great job in terms of bringing creativity, the technology to address the problem. And I am sure that maybe just bringing in a few people that have a more a kind of hardcore business perspective to work through some of the, you know, uh, in more detail, how to monetize and how to reach some of these 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 potential customers um you could really take this the the other step and we will certainly be speaking to our partner kariri 
as well as other agencies in terms of what help there is for you out there in getting to that next level.